every so often, I may get a person email me or comment to me pretty much saying he or she doesn't believe in God. And that makes me wonder, why even contact me then? If you don't believe in God, why even tell me about it? It is one thing if you come to me or contact me and say, please help me understand more about God. But some people contact me every so often saying that they don't believe in God. Okay. <laughs> I am not going to sit there and type to you all day long trying to get you to come to God. No. Let me get to my point. Let me say this too. Sometimes I get comments like set up comments, meaning people purposely saying really foolish things trying to get you into an argument. You have to watch out for that. Now, some people may say trolls, but it is more deep than that. Demonic people that know the truth, but trying to ensnare you. So you have to be careful of that. And I see that every so often. So let me get to my main point. Let's go to Romans chapter six, verse 23. To the left is the King James Version to the right is the expanded Bible. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ, hmm, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So what is this saying here? This is saying that the wages of sin is death. So when you ask me, Kevin, why does God allow babies to die? Why does God allow people to die? Why does God allow so much chaos in this world? Let me say this. Is God the one sinning? No. So if the Bible is saying the wages of sin is death, then why are people still sinning? So, if people continue to sin, knowing that much more chaos is going to happen, so who is really responsible of the chaos that is happening in this world? People. So, when you see babies dying so much, or wars, rapes, and so many bad things, it is due to sin. So the bad things that are happening in this world is due to humans. So if you are not following the rules and regulations, of the Bible, you are the problem. So when you see all these bad things happening, you have to blame yourself. Well, Kevin, I am not going to blame myself because I am prideful and don't want to serve God. So I want to have another excuse to not serve God. I know, I know that. But 
let me say this. If you continue on with that silly attitude, you are going to die in sin and regret the silly words that you are speaking. Listen. If you can't defeat God, why even challenge God? If you can't even pinch God, <coughs> if you can't even touch God, <coughs> excuse me, if you even can't touch God, if you can't even blow your breath on God, why even challenge him? Think about that. So why even complain about something you can't change? Why even waste your time complaining about something you can't change? What is the point? If something is not going to change, why even dwell upon it? Well, Kevin, I don't like God's rules. Okay, what is next? You are going to continue to disobey God so you can be thrown into hell after death? That is crazy. So let me stop here. God bless you.